Yeah, so these are the 18, nearly 18 topics, which I discuss every month with you all. Okay. Um, quality and governance, economy, banking and finance, art and culture, science and technology. This list. In this list, when I discuss content, discuss karunga, it may be possible that uh, there is a topic up or a topic down, and there is a topic missing. Okay. तो उसके बिहाइंड रीजन ये होगा कि पर्टिकुलरली उस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक में उस मंथ में कोई स्पेसिफिक ऐसा डेवलपमेंट नहीं हुआ जिसे हम कवर करके चलें ठीक है तो अब मैं स्टार्ट कर रहा हूं बिल्कुल बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट से मंथ ऑफ जनवरी का दैट इज बुक्स एंड ऑथर्स हर बार के क्वेश्चन पेपर में प्रीवियस ईयर में ये देखा गया है कि बुक्स एंड ऑथर्स से इन जनरल एक सवाल आ जाता है ठीक है तो ये हम देखते हैं कि सुभाष गर्ग comes up with new book title the 10 trillion dream 10 trillion dollar dream so former uh, finance minister subhash chandragar is making his debut as author with his latest book the 10 trillion dollar dream it aims to explore the most pressing political challenge that india faces today and proposes steps towards becoming becoming the Trend till a uh, 10 trillion dollar US dollar economy by mid 2030. This is the um, a little um, 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 detail about the book. Now, um, Union Minister Minakshi Lekhi uh, releases a pictorial book. Union Minister of Culture Minakshi Lekhi released a pictorial book on India's women unsung heroes of freedom struggle as part of Ajadi Ka Amrit Mahotsa. This book was released in the month of um, January 2022 and book was uh, released in partnership with the Amar Chitra Katha. Hope you all must be aware about Amar Chitra Katha. This, this is the uh, publication house which published cartoons and and certain uh, books meant for certain uh, comics uh, comic books meant for um, kids also thereafter author raskin bond comes up with new uh, new book a little book of india so we all know the raskin bond um, is a very avid writer author and an author of international acclaim uh, in kitab likhi hai, a little book of india celebrating 75 years of independence um, India में ही रहते हैं ज्यादातर इनका जीवन जो है वो उत्तराखंड में गुजरा है अभी मसूरी में इनका घर है तो इट पेज होम इज टू कंट्री दैट हैज बीन हिज होम फॉर 84 इयर्स हमारे देश के अंदर इट हैज बीन पब्लिश बाय पेंगुइन रैंडम हाउस आपको पब्लिकेशन को याद रखने की जरूरत नहीं है ठीक है आप रस्किन बॉन्ड को साहित्य अकादमी अवार्ड भी मिला है आम, साहित्य अकादमी बाल साहित्य पुरस्कार भी मिला है पद्मश्री भी मिला हुआ है पद्म भूषण और इसी तरह के और दूसरे प्रेस्टीजियस अवार्ड इन्हें मिले हुए हैं देयर आफ्टर सुबेरा प्रसाद कम्स अप विद द बुक द एंजल्स ऑफ कैलास एजुकेशनिस्ट एंड राइटर इन एस्ट्रोलॉजर सुबेरा प्रसाद पब्लिश्ड हर सेकंड बुक इन ट्रायलॉजी ऑफ द बैटल विद ह्यूमंस ह्यूमंस एंड डीमंस uh, it is titled as the angels of kalas the uh, book begins with uh, uh, begins from where the previous work stopped so the her first book was the demons of jaitreya um, the kumbh conspiracy will be the final book in the trilogy teen kitabon ki series mein uh, ye dusri ek book hai inki thereafter another book the legend of birsa munda that was released released by um, a book uh, Legends of Birsa Munda, um, written by Tuhin A. Sina and Ankit Varma. It was launched in Mumbai in the month of January. Uh, book was released by uh, the governor of Maharashtra. Um, the book is uh, thoroughly researched and uh, it is meant to provide a tribute to life and times of freedom fighters. Uh, fire, fire, freedom fighter Birsa Munda. Suna hai naam Birsa Munda ka? Yes, sir. Hmm. Kuch batao ke kis state se belong karte hai ye? Sir, Jarkhan hmm. me Munda tribe se. Haan, Munda tribe se. Now, new 
book operation khatma released um, uh, the two journalists rc gunju and aswini bhatnagar um, released that book operation khatma the operation by the special operations group of jammu and kashmir police led to uh, the the book uh, carries the detail of uh, the uh, terrorist and militancy uh, related operations happened in um, jammu and kashmir thereafter next book that is a new biography of subhash chandra bose uh, that that was uh, news in the month of uh, january uh, related to the book to be released in month of february the uh, the a new uh, biography of netaji subhash chandra bose titled the untold story of an inconvenient nationalist uh, that uh, bo this book will be released um, uh, must have been released in month of february and definitely it would have been Uh, must have been released also sorry ho chuki hogi the biography is authored by the researcher and the founder of uh, mission netaji uh, chandrachur ghosh um jo mission netaji ke jo founder hain aur researcher hain chandra ghosh chandrachur ghosh ne ye book publish kiya thereafter arunditi bhattacharya we know that she was the former um, chairperson of the uh, state bank of india Uh, wrote a uh, autobiography indomitable then uh, the book is basically the to full title is indomitable a working women's note on life work and leadership this is uh, just you, uh, keep the name of the author and uh, uh, the uh, our title of the book and little bit theme which could help you or which could provide a aid uh, to keep that uh, um, book and the author in your memory there after comes uh, another book ratan tata's biography uh, that is that was set to be published in november 2022 um, that is ratan and tata uh, uh, an authorized biography um, ha, this book has been written by an retired is officer dr thomas matthew um, keeping the uh, contribution of tatas in in the indian economy or especially indian society thereafter mamta beyond 2021 book on mamta banerji uh, to be released uh, basically uh, this book is written by jayanta ghosal a political journalist and translated by uh, aruna vasinna a fiction and non fiction fiction translator so this book has been uh, written uh, basically dedicating to the political life of west bengal chief minister mamta banerji thereafter comes the art and culture um spituk gustor festival it begins in ladakh um the spituk gustor uh, annual celebration of ladakhi culture and traditional heritage uh, this uh, basically this festival or this uh, um, cultural festival happens in the month of january um and this uh, festival is held uh, at Sp spituk monastery over there uh, the main attraction of festival was colorful mass dance locally called chams performed by monks of the monastery depicting different deities such as mahakal um, and uh, faldan lamo and white mahakal and protector deity these are few of the details related to that cultural festival thereafter comes tripura celebrates 44th kokborok day on 19th january in the month of january kokborok day tripura language day is celebrated as a festival in the indian state of tripura uh, basically uh, to uh, to showcase or to show the development of the kokborok language over there kokborok is an is the official language of tripura um this day is chosen to commemorate its early recognition as an official language in 1979 kokborok is formerly known as tripura kok one more thing you all are required to uh, repeat this document possibly as soon as this class gets over Uh, इसको अभी तुरंत आप लोग रिपीट कर लीजिएगा सो दैट रिकॉल जो है वो बढ़ जाए ओवर ए पीरियड ऑफ टाइम जब आप कभी एग्जाम करोगे 
एग्जाम में आओ उद्यूपी सेलिब्रेटिंग द पर्याय महोत्सव इन जनवरी उद्यूपी पर्याय डिनोट्स द ट्रांसफर ऑफ पावर ऑफ द एक्सक्लूसिव राइट ऑफ वर्सिपिंग लॉर्ड कृष्णा एंड मैनेजिंग श्री कृष्ण मठ टेम्पल फ्रॉम वन सी टू एन ऑफ दी दिस द बेसिकली ट्रांसफर ऑफ आप कह सकते हो ऑथोरिटी This uh, uh, mahotsav happens in Udupi. Um, a new paryaya seer, Swami Vidya Sagar Tirtha of the Krishna Puram Mat will ascend the Sarvajana Peet. Thereafter, Jali Kattu. We all know that Jali Jali Kattu held in Tamil Nadu as part of the Pongal celebration. The the this particular festival uh, has been under um, several. Uh, several litigations has been uh, happened against this particular festival due to um, um, due to um, certain um, 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 pros and cons related to the involvement of animal in that um, this particular festival so tamil nadu bull taming sport jalikattu uh, it was held in uh, avinaypuram madurai district it happens in in the month of january on the occasion of pongal so ab ye maniye ki tamil nadu mein jo pongal hai wo north india mein isi ka ek isi se milta julta ek festival hota hai us wo ye 14 january ko pongal manaya jata hai 14 january ko yahan par koi aur festival bhi manaya jata hai kuch manaya jata hai sir baisakhi hmm theek hai na thereafter it starts as part of mattu pongal on on the third day uh, of the four day long uh, harvest festi festival uh, basically the and bull owners are also given prize in case of their uh, tamed animal uh, triumph over the others next uh, uh, development of the month of january that is lusum sikkimese new year festival celebrated Uh, Lusung festival is celebrated in the month of January uh, in the uh, 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 in the state or uh, in that particular area, uh, and uh, again it is uh, a, uh, it's a festival or carnival which celebrates the end of the annual harvest season at the conclusion of the tenth month of the Tibetan lunar calendar. The festival is primarily celebrated by Bhutias. Lepchas tribe of India, Bhutan, and Nepal. Uh, next festival uh, that is festival Makar Sankranti, Pongal, Bihu, Visu. These all festival are celebrated on for fourteenth January. Um, or भी कोई एक festival मनाया जाता है ना चौबीस जनवरी चौदह जनवरी को तेरह या चौदह जनवरी के आसपास को नहीं को है को और पंजाब का इम्पोर्टेंट फेस्टिवल है दैट इज लोहड़ी है ना लोहड़ी मनाया जाता है ना तो तेरह जनवरी को यस yes, और ये सारे जो फेस्टिवल्स हैं बेसिकली किस लिए सेलिब्रेट किए जाते हैं इन द मंथ ऑफ जनवरी क्योंकि जनवरी और फरवरी के बीच में हार्वेस्टिंग स्टार्ट हो जाती है ठीक है ना गेहूं की फसल के पकने का टाइम स्टार्ट हो जाता है ठीक है तो ये पर्पज है फेस्टिवल्स को इस सेलिब्रेशन टाइम ये बोला जाता है लद्दाख सेलिब्रेट्स लोसार एज ए ट्रेडिशनल न्यू ईयर लद्दाख सेलिब्रेट्स लोसार द ट्रेडिशनल न्यू ईयर ऑन द मंथ ऑफ जनवरी these are few of the um, details uh, related, related to um, art and culture nothing more specific uh, was found in the in this particular month so thereafter uh, another development uh, in the uh, against the month of uh, january it is the awards and honors film street student selected for the first prize in nhrc competition national human rights commission organized a competition in which the telugu short film street student bagged the first prize um the film uh, by 
Akula Sandeep awarded rupees 2 lakh in the seventh short film award competition. Uh, Curfew by Romi Maithi uh, selected second uh, was uh, has been um, selected for second prize and uh, Mungyar by Nile Sambedkar has been selected for third prize. Thereafter comes uh, Tamil Nadu's uh, Satya Mangalam Tiger Reserve to win TX2 award. Satya Mangalam Tiger Reserve in Tamil Nadu. So Satya Mangalam Tiger Reserve Tamil Nadu mein आप इसे इकोलॉजी एंड एनवायरमेंट स्टैटिक इकोलॉजी एनवायरमेंट में भी पढ़ेंगे अवार्डेड द टीएक्स2 अवार्ड फॉर डबलिंग इट्स टाइगर पॉपुलेशन सिंस 2010 इट इज लोकेटेड इन एरोद डिस्ट्रिक्ट इट हाउसेस 80 टाइगर्स इन इट्स 1480 स्क्वायर किलोमीटर कैंपस नेपाल्स बर्दिया नेशनल पार्क वाज आल्सो जॉइंटली कन्फर्ड द अवार्ड for doubling its population of wild tigers. Thereafter, film Jai Bhim and Marakar nominated um, for Oscar. Academy of Motion Pictures, Pictures Arts and Science, which uh, conducts Academy of Art, award, uh, conducts the Academy Awards, has released the list of 276 films eligible for the awards for 2022. Thereafter comes uh, um, and their uh, Tamil legal drama Jabhim and Mohanlal's uh, Malayalam film Marakar uh, Arabi Kanda Lite Sim Simham are the only Indian films to get nominated at the 94th Academy Awards. Thereafter, Sumit uh, Bhagle wins gold medal at the International Folk Art Festival. Young Lavani artist from Maharashtra, Sumit Bhale, has uh, won the gold medal in the International Folk Art Festival in Dubai. So, let's understand that the Lavani is in the folk song and this folk song is in Maharashtra. तो जो फोक सॉंग्स की लिस्ट है वो मैंने आपसे डिस्कस की होगी जब अब मैंने आपसे स्टैटिक में आर्ट एंड कल्चर पढ़ाया अब मैं वापस से वो पूरा स्टैटिक पोर्शन कवर करूंगा सो प्लीज बी देयर फॉर द सेक ऑफ रिवीजन आल्सो देयर आफ्टर स्कीम्स एंड पॉलिसीज इंपॉर्टेंट स्कीम्स एंड पॉलिसीज गवर्नमेंट नोटिफाइज फेज 2 ऑफ कैपिटल गुड्स scheme government has notified second phase of scheme on enhancement of competitiveness in the indian capital goods sector for providing assistance for common technology development and services and infrastructure um, thereafter next national commission for safai karmachari extended for three years that is not very specific um, um, uh, mcq can be formed out of this um, news but somewhere this can help you understand about what is happening in the polity and governance especially thereafter drink, drinking water supply scheme worth uh, this was approved this, uh, these are certain state specific development under the jal jeevan mission thereafter comes punjab government approves one time internet allowance for a student punjab cabinet decided to give Rupees 2000 is one time internet allowance to all the students studying at the higher education institutions. The cabinet gave ex post facto approval to increase the honorarium of Anganwadi, Anganwadi workers and many Anganwadi workers and helpers also. The Punjab government Rojgar guarantee for youth schemes was approved in this particular month. Thereafter, Odisha's Ganjam dis district. याद रखेंगे बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट डेवलपमेंट है ये उड़ीसा के गंजम डिस्ट्रिक्ट डिक्लेयर्ड है चाइल्ड मैरिज फ्री डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ उड़ीसा उड़ीसा के गंजम डिस्ट्रिक्ट हैज डिक्लेयर्ड इटसेल्फ चाइल्ड मैरिज फ्री डिस्ट्रिक्ट इन जनवरी मंथ द डिस्ट्रिक्ट हैज 3309 नंबर्स ऑफ चाइल्ड मैरिजेस फ्री विलेजेस एंड 503 चाइल्ड मैरिज फ्री ग्राम पंचायत द टोटल 
uh, to control child marriages, Ganjam administration, with the help of UNICEF and Action Aid India, had launched the Nirbhaya Kada Kadi program in 2019. And out of that, this has been ensured to get the uh, status of child marriage free district. Thereafter, Ujala scheme completed seven years and uh, 36 crore LEDs distributed across India under this scheme. Ministry of Power has completed seven years of uh, distributing and selling LEDs under its flagship Ujala program. That is Unnat Jyoti by Affordable LEDs for All. Uh, was this, this scheme was launched by Prime Minister on January 15, Jan 5th January 2015. So Unnat Jyoti by Affordable LEDs for All is the full form of Ujala. Thereafter, Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs launches SAR program. That is small cities and academia towards action and research. Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs launched SAR program. Under the program, 15 premier architectures and planning institutes of the country will be working with smart cities to document landmark projects undertaken by Smart Cities Mission. Thereafter, VP Naidu unveils status of Dr. Medkar at Mahatma Gandhi University. Not that much important information. Sources, I have already told you, all these are available in PIB, News on Air, All India Radio. And few newspapers, few good newspapers. So, Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated several development projects in Imphal, Mani. Um, Prime Minister inaugurated 13 projects of varying uh, in investment, or you can say the capital investment, and laid the foundation stone of the nine projects worth this much of amount in Imphal, Manipur. Uh, Prime Minister also inaugurated a wa water transmission system from a Thobul multi-purpose project. So Thobul multi-purpose project is in Manipur, Imphal, which will provide drinking water supply to Imphal city. Um, he inaugurated the steel bridge built over the Barak River. Thereafter comes Sarvanand Sonowal inaugurates Yoga Academy in Hyderabad. So, Union Ayush Minister Sarvanand Sonova laid the foundation stone for the Heartfulness International Yoga Academy in Hyderabad. Thereafter, Dharmendra Pradhan launches NE80 3.0 to provide the best developed ad tech solution. Union Education Minister launched NEED 3.0, a single platform to provide best developed ad tech solutions and courses to students of the country. The minister also launched AICT prescribed technical books in the regional languages. The development was that medical and engineering ki jo, uh, uh, education in the regional languages. Mein bhi ka. NEED ke andar um, provision hai. and NEET stands for National Education Alliance for Technology. 12 lakh students have received free ad tech courses, coupons of over 2500 crore. Thereafter, Civil Aviation Ministry released drafts for national air sports policy. Ministry of Civil Aviation released a draft national air sports policy for public feedback. The policy seeks to leverage India's potential for air sports and places a strong focus on ensuring international best practices in safety. Thereafter, Jal Jeevan Mission need not to discuss that in detail. Now comes important days and events. National Commission for Women, important day that is 31st January. Um, and the theme of uh, this uh, Foundation Day of National Commission for Women was see the change maker. 
the National Commission for Women was set up as a statutory body in January 1992 under the National Commission for Women Act 1990 to review the constitutional and legal safeguard for women and recommend uh, remedial legislative measures to women. Thereafter comes International Day of Education, 24th January. International Day of Education is observed every year on 24th January to celebrate the role of education for peace and development. United Nations General Assembly proclaimed that day as International Day of Education in 2000, 24 January 2018. And the theme for year 2022 is Changing Course, Transforming Education. Resolution to mark the International Day of Education was authorized by 59 member states. Now comes National Voters Day, 24th uh, February, uh, on uh, 25th, sorry, January. January 25th, India celebrates its National Voters Day to mark the foundation, founding day or foundation day of Election Commission of India. So Election Commission was formed in 1950, but first ever National Voter, Voters Day was celebrated in 2011. The day is dedicated to raise the awareness among the citizens on voter rights and duty, duties. The theme was basically making elections inclusive, accessible, and participative. Thereafter, National Tourism Day. Day. National Tourism Day is celebrated on 25th January every year. These are the overlapping themes, or you can say the overlapping ideas on the same day, possibly. So you please, uh, if possible, you please keep remember these. Days. These are the very um, highly curated uh, days of national importance. It is observed to cultivate awareness among the global community on the importance of tourism and its social, financial, and cultural worth. So please keep these keywords in mind social, financial, and cultural worth of tourism. The department, and um, especially pertaining to tourism, was established in 1950. The theme for 2022 was rural and community-centric tourism. Now, National Girl Child Day, 24th January. National Girl Child Day is celebrated every year on 24th January. The objective of the, of the day is to spread awareness among the public about the inequities faced by girls in Indian society to promote awareness about girls' right. Thereafter comes Tripura Kokborok Day, that is the language day basically, cele celebrated, uh, celebrated in 19 January. Thereafter, 50th Statehood Day of Tripura, Manipur and Meghalaya. It is celebrated on 21st January. The, um, 50th Statehood Day of Tripura, Meghalaya and Manipur. Basically on this day, the North East Reorganization Act 1971 was implemented, providing statehood to the three states, Tripura and Manipur, which were earlier the princely states were merged into Indian Union in October 1949. Meghalaya was part of Assam earlier. So Meghalaya was created out of Assam. Now, theme of National Science Day, and National Science Day is celebrated on 5th January 2022. And the theme was basically integrated approach in science and technology for sustainable future. Next is uh, science and technology. IIT's, IIT researchers developed AI powered technique to diagnose COVID. The IIT Jodhpur developed a new artificial intelligence solution and it can uh, it, it can learn abnormalities present in the chest x-ray images of differentiating to differentiate between a COVID affected lung and non-COVID affected lung. The researcher proposed it to be called CometNet. 
next development in the field of science and technology isro successfully conduct tests of cryogenic engine for gagania isro has successfully conducted qualification test for cryogenic engine for gaganyaan human space program india's human space program isro propulsion complex in tamil nadu conducted the test for 7 net 20 second duration on 12 jan geo synchronous satellite launch vehicle gslv mark 3 launch vehicle will be used to cryogenic engines and the name of this particular engine is vikas ye dhyan rakhiyega na अभी मैंने पिछले महीने के करंट अफेयर्स में भी आपको ये डिस्कस किया होगा जीएसएलवी पीएसएलवी एस एल वी जियो सिंक्रोनस सेटेलाइट लॉन्च व्हीकल पोलार्ड सेटेलाइट लॉन्च व्हीकल एंड सेटेलाइट लॉन्च व्हीकल दीज आर द एक्रोनियम्स ऑफ the technology in the space seg space segment now sports and games first edition of uh, odisha um, open kicks off in kat katak badminton odisha open kicked off at jawaharlal nehru stadium in katak from 20th to 25th january 2022 this was the development uh, of the month of january in the field of sports and games isan bhatnagar and tanisha kresto win sayed modi mixed doubles title dhyan rakhiyega sayed modi mixed double titles belongs to badminton and isan bhatnagar and tanisha kresto belongs to badminton this is the purpose to discuss this particular news now ninth national ice hockey championship held at kaja ninth national hockey championship 2022 at the ice skating rink kaja in laul spiti district was held in january 2022 it was inaugurated by himachal pradesh cm and bas itna aapko dhyan rakhna hai ki ninth national hockey championship jo hai wo काजा में लाहौल स्पीति में हुई थी नेक्स्ट एडिशन ऑफ एएफसी एफ कप वर्ल्ड कप एशियन कप बिगिन्स ट्वेंटी एडिशन ऑफ एएफसी एफ एशियन कप बिगिन ऑन ट्वेंटी एशियन फुटबॉल चैंपियनशिप बिगिन ऑन ट्वेंटी जनवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू it holds a signif special significance for india for the first uh, for, uh, as this is the second time the country will be hosting the tournament thereafter smriti mandana named icc t20 women's team of the year dhyan rakhiyega ki ye cricket se belong karti hain aur India's Ind Indian team's vice captain. ये रही हैं. Thereafter, Tasneem Mir becomes world's number one in badminton under 19 girls single. ध्यान रखिएगा कि Tasneem Mir वो badminton juniors player हैं. बस इतना याद रखना है ये उस month का development. Tasneem Mir has become first Indian to grab world number one rank under the under 19 girls singles in the latest BWF juniors ranking. Now Lakshya Sen clinches men single title of India Open. Lakshya Sen clinched. इसको बहुत ज़्यादा याद रखने की ज़रूरत नहीं है. commercial now satvik siraj uh, rink ready and chirag city claim india's 
claims first India Open title. The top double pair team. ये भी कमर्शियल है अच्छा हो तो इसे भी मत याद रखिए लेकिन अभी पिछले महीने में आप मुझे बताओगे जो क्लास मैंने आपको नवंबर मंथ का करंट अफेयर्स कराया था दोनों का नाम आया था हाँ इन्होंने कौन सा टाइटल जीता है नवंबर मंथ में कौन कौन था आप में से क्लास में प्रतिष्ठा खुशी खनक स्वास्तिक सिराज रानी के रेड्डी एंड चिराग सेट्टी फ्रेंच ओपन हाँ फ्रेंच ओपन ठीक है उसके बाद ए आई एस सी डी टू होल्ड फर्स्ट वर्ल्ड डी टी ट्वेंटी क्रिकेट चैंपियनशिप इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री ऑल इंडिया स्पोर्ट्स of deef has approved from the international committee of sports for deef to host world's first deef t20 cricket championship in kerala na rohan bonappa bopanna rohan bopanna and ram kumar ramanathan uh, win adelaide international doubles tennis ke player hain dono ye aapko dhyan rakhna रोहन बोपाना एंड राम कुमार रामनाथन आर द एथलीट्स बिलोंगिंग टू सॉरी प्लेयर्स बिलोंगिंग टू टेनिस एक और इंपॉर्टेंट डेवलपमेंट मंथ ऑफ जनवरी का मेजर ध्यानचंद स्पोर्ट्स यूनिवर्सिटी मेरठ उत्तर प्रदेश बस इतना याद रखना देर आफ्टर पर्सन सिंह न्यूज बुधादेव भट्टाचार्य एंड संध्या मुखर्जी रिफ्यूज देयर पद्मा अवार्ड बुद्धादेव भट्टाचार्य ये फॉर्मर वेस्ट बंगाल चीफ मिनिस्टर रहे हैं रिजेक्टेड द पद्मा भूषण अवार्ड द रीजन वाज दैट ही वाज नॉट इनफॉर्म अबाउट बीइंग गिवन द अवार्ड सिंगिंग लेजेंड Sandhya Mukherjee also refused to offer the Padma Shri award. She had been earlier awarded Banga Bebusan, a National Film Award for Best Female Playback Singer. Thereafter, eminent scientist S. Somnath appointed ISRO chief. ये ध्यान रखिएगा ISRO के current chief S. Somnath. Appointment committee has approved the appointment of rocket scientist S. Somnath. and director vikram sarabhai space center to the post of uh, secretary and department of space and chairman and space commission he has been appointed for the combined tenure of 3 years he will succeed k sivan nageswaran takes over as india's chief chief economic advisor to so, dhyan rakhiyega ki india ke chief economic advisor v anantha nageswaran He is the former executive of Credit Suisse Group of AG and Julius B R B R Group. He will succeed Krishna Murthy Subramanian, Chief Economic Advisor in the Finance Ministry, advises government on economic matters and traditionally scripts the economic survey presented in Parliament a day before the Union Budget is presented. Now we know Anand Cha. appointed chairman of vmla adjudicating authority prevention of money laundering act vinod anand jha has been appointed as chairperson of pmla he has been serving as the member finance and accounts in the authority since september 2018 he was appointed to the post after he retired from the service as principal chief commissioner of in income tax now ranks and reports oxfam india inequality kills report the wealth of india's richest families reached to the record high in 2021 in in the report india was described as very unequal country as the top 10 people 
in india holds 57% of wealth it means india ki total wealth ka top 10 people 57% control karte hain ya kahiye ki rakhte hain on the other hand that that is the wilfred pareto principle italian social scientist propose the 80 20 principle you know 80 20 principle aap men se kitne log jante hain 80 20 principle hmm sab padha hai but ya but ya nahi hai 80 percent wealth ko matlab uh, 80% 80% wealth is with 20% of people and 20% of wealth is with 80% of people while in india it is 70 20 and 10 so um, means 10% uh, of people carry 70% of wealth 20% people carries nearly 20 to 30% of wealth and 10% uh, uh, people carries nearly uh, sorry 70% uh, people carries nearly 10% of wealth that is inequal, inequal uh, um, uh, Pareto's uh, inequality principle ye cheez sirf social science mein bhi apply nahi hoti this is ap uh, applicable uh, in uh, uh, science also and statistically agar kisi jagah par koi durghatna ho rahi hai suppose if we talk about accidents then 20% accidents are uh, caused by minor causes that is 80 percent and 80 percent of accidents caused by few 20 percent major causes this course statistics map uh, common cause and assignable cause ke naam se padoge. common cause causes and assignable causes The principle is fairly applicable though the phenomena was observed in the society now uh, the phenomena is equally somewhere applicable in science also now comes the Maharashtra Maharashtra has stopped uh, sorry this is thoda sa aur detail mein dekh lete hai. On the other hand, share of the bottom half is 13%. Matlab, jo 50% se ja, niche, 50 jo population in India ki, that, that carries only 13% of total wealth. Uh, report states that 84% of Indian households witness as an income decline amid the COVID-19 pandemic and the richest 98 uh, Indians own the same wealth as the bottom 552 million people. The richest 98 Indian owns the same wealth as the bottom 552 million people. The number of Indian billionaires increased from 102 to 142 during 2021. The wealth of top 100 families is 557.3 trillion. Rupees. Maharashtra has topped India's list um, in number of micro, small and my, medium enterprises, MSME. Sabse zyada MSME jo hai, wo Maharashtra ke andar hai. Owned by entrepreneurs from the scheduled caste with as many as 96,805 enterprises. Tamil Nadu with the 42 uh, 43,000 enterprise in Rajasthan with 38.5 uh, 38,517 uh, 38, unit occupy the second and third slot according to data furnished by Office of 
Development Commissioner in the Union Ministry of MSA. This is all for the day. And this is thereby I conclude the uh, month of January current affairs. And this was the um, only um, um, relevant development happened in the month of January.